Hey everyone, Brian Henniger here. Um, I'm going to do something I've never done before, but we're going to give it a shot. This is an unboxing video. When I got my taxes back a few weeks ago, I got a pretty good size refund. I got a good bonus at work. And so I decided to do something nice for myself. And I saw this available on Amazon.com and I just had to have it. I've been wanting it for some time. This is the 1960s Batman television series on Blu-ray discs and digital download. And there it is. I want it forever. And folks, it's mine. Got a real good deal on it too. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you. We're going to open this baby up, show you what all is in it in case you want to see it. Um, if you've never seen the 60s Batman series, you ain't lived. Trust me. It is one of the classic shows of my youth. It was... Um, really big in the 60s it actually was invented believe it or not because of the playboy mansion what they used to do is used to show old um old 1940s batman serials and people would cheer the good guys and boo the bad guys it's the things you did when you got drunk and you had fun well they thought that might be a neat little idea to do on a tv series and thus as a result they made the 60s batman series in 1966 and it became a huge smash hit didn't last but three years but it's been in syndicated reruns ever since. They've been trying to release it on home video for a long time. And there have been a lot of problems with it, mainly because so many people were owed money because of their appearances in uh, the show as extras and having done guest appearances. It was a show that it was in to be on in the 60s. There's even a problem involving the design of the Batmobile. But all that stuff got settled, it all got fixed up, and we are here today to mark the 75th anniversary of the creation of Batman, and they've released this wonderful set. So what do you say we open it up and have a look what's inside? You want to do that? Well, you got no choice, you're kind of watching this video, so of course we're going to do that. So here we go. Let's open this baby up. Notice all the bam, the kapow, all that stuff. All that was done, incidentally, to mimic the art style of comic books, and it's all come full circle. They're now making a 60s batman style comic book called batman 66 that has become very popular and they're actually now going to do one based on wonder woman called wonder woman 77 they got linda carter to sign off on her likeness for that so cool let's open it up shall we go ahead and open this baby up it's magnetized so you can do that pull the back flap and i want you to look at this see it right there you can't barely see it in black matte, they have all the title cards. They zap and pow, zowie, crash. That's just neat. And pull this other side back. More of the same on this side. See it right there? And there you go. First thing you get, right there, a Hot Wheels replica of the 60s Batmobile, 1966, made by George Barris. The uh, classic car customizer based on a model called the Lincoln Futura that never saw the light of day. He bought the he bought the prototype for a dollar and then used it as the basis for the Batmobile. And what a classic car it is. You see it's very detailed. A little bit of a crack there in the plastic. That was me trying to open it up earlier and I broke it. That took half of the resale value right there. But you see it, the, the car is okay. Look at that. Got all the things you remember. This looks nice. That's one of my office at work. And I do love here at the bottom, <laughs> this DVD is not a toy. Because you know someone's upset at home going, oh, I was going to play Frisbee with it and stuff. I don't know what they're going to say. Filling time here. Um, okay, we also have this. This is a replica of the Batman trading card series that was released in the 1960s. There's the box right there, 44 cards. I'll uh, open this up and show you what they look like. We'll get you in a minute there, Adam. Just calm down. <laughs> I want to be shown now, Brian! I said calm down, Adam. Slide that back and there you see him. There you go, right like that. Look at that. Uh, aquatic attack and uh, paint a few of those out there. Right there, Tentacle Terror. A roulette wheel. That's a joker, I think. And there they are, pendu the pit and the pendulum, all kinds of stuff. And that is nice. So Those are cool. Nothing on the back, just the Batman logo. Though I'm told that's how they looked in the 60s. So there you go. 
now get into the meat and potatoes here. First, you have a great little booklet called the Adam West Scrapbook. All kinds of pictures of him do as Batman. There's a great shot of the Batcave and a few other great pictures. There's a, well, let's see, one of his publicity shots, I want to say from the 70s, and all kinds of great pictures. And uh, there's the man himself. It's cool, isn't it? There you go. So we'll put that aside there. You also get the Batman episode guide, which shows you every episode that you get there. Look at that. Got some special features there, too, which I'll be getting to those in a moment. And you even get a little uh, letter by Adam West himself, which I'll read to you. <clears throat> Greetings, citizens. Over and over and over again, I've been asked, when's the Blu-ray coming out? Sometimes it's shouted at me. Well, here it is at last, in all its pristine splendor, the classic Batman television series. And I won't read any more there. But uh, there you go. It's a classic show. Not that bad to see anyone. And Adam West uh, didn't actually sign it himself, but there you go. And there's the man in the cowl. There you go. So here's all of the discs, just the real meat and potatoes of it right here. I'll uh, remove the first disc pack. And I love all the great, you know, kind of 60s pop art style pictures here. See, there's season one. And there's the late, great Burgess Meredith as the penguin, Oswald Cobblepot. Open it up. There's, um, that's Alan Napier as Alfred Pennyworth. There's all three discs of season one. Uh, just had a 17, uh, no, had 34 episodes. In that first season, it aired it back to back on two nights. That's why they would say same bat time, same bat channel. They would do that every week. And there you go. Great pictures. And of course, the late, great Frank Gorshin, celebrity impersonator ex ex par excellence as the Riddler, Edward Nigma there. And uh, <laughs> hello, nurse. What can I say? I'm a guy. The great Julie Newmar as the Catwoman. She's so pretty. I'm going to open this up here. And there's some more great pictures. There's a lot of great photos in this, uh, in, in the packaging. There's uh, Vincent Price as Egghead. And I believe Otto Priminger as, um, as Mr. Freeze. Can you see it? There's six discs for season two. There's uh, all kinds of episodes in season two. That's when the show took off, really, was season number two. And there you see them. All pretty. I'll show you the backs of one of the discs to show you. They are Blu-rays. And there you go. You can not you can barely make it out. The Blu-ray insignia is in there somewhere. I'm using my bad haircut today. <laughs> I need to wash my hair. <laughs> but there you go. And, uh, put that back in there. Try not to break it. And in the back, there's Victor Buono as King Tut. And uh, lastly, come out of there, Joker. There's the Joker, Cesar Romero, as the Joker for season number three. You notice, there's his mustache. He didn't want to shave it off, so they covered it with, with pancake for the last season. And on the back, there's a Stafford Rep and Neil Hamilton as um, Commissioner Gordon and Chief O'Hara. And there's, ooh, hello, Yvonne Craig, Batgirl, brought in on season number three. They include the uh, test pilot for Batgirl that was done to kind of show the, uh, the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> proof of concept, you might say. And there's seasons one, two, and three of season number three, and all the special features, which uh, there's some great special features, I'm told, here, and I'll show them to you here in the episode guide. These, so there's all the special features you get. Holy memorabilia, uh, some great behind-the-scenes footage, all that. And there's, of course, there's the bat symbol right there. But uh, that's pretty much it. Couldn't ask for more. I've been waiting for this for a long time. They really outdid themselves. If you have the money, it's about $175 with shipping uh, on Amazon.com. But if you can afford it, I recommend it heartily. It's a great collection. I enjoy it. Hope you liked the video. I'm Brian Henniger, and I'll see you soon.
God bless you.